This place was left to rot with contaminating chemicals messing up the surrounding environment. So that's why we chose that place as a, as a target to make our statement. The EPA Superfund program responds to environmental emergencies. However, from time to time, those sites are left abandoned and incomplete. Artist Collective in Decline recently went out to one of those sites, formerly owned by the Vanderbilt Corp, to carry out a covert environmental art project. What's death metal? Death Metals was a project at an abandoned gold ore processing mill out in the Mojave National Preserve. It's been up for demolition for close to 20 years. What was the point of this project in particular? To display through our imagery on the actual mill, pretty much just man's quest for wealth. Well, that's corporations, that's agencies. They're constantly digging into the earth, not caring about the surrounding environment, the animals, just not following any regulations mm -hmm. that the EPA has set up and just completely going renegade, carrying out their duties without a care in the world to gain wealth. So if it's a Superfund site, then they contributed money to clean it up, supposedly. That's correct. The EPA did go in and clean out most of the substances and chemicals. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the damage was done there wasn't a full 100% sweep of the entire site. The effects were still contaminating the environment. It contained heavy amounts of cyanide, hydroxide, as well as the heavy metals contained chemicals, which were irreparable to the surrounding environment. So the area is just pretty much dead then? It was a wasteland. In Decline definitely likes to push the boundaries and continually collaborate with other skilled artists. The images chosen for the Death Metal Project, we had one being a two-headed ram, showing the effects of chemicals messing up the biology of, of an animal. We had a skull with the hazardous symbol. It fit on that silo so well. And then we had a skeleton hand holding a piece of gold, tying it all together with the fact that it's an abandoned gold war. Another one being a miner with a pickaxe over his shoulder, which we offset on the building. The fourth was the miner holding an electric pickaxe drill against the four silos, just showing a lot of imagery of ghost miners, dead miners at work and we cut Indecline into one of the catwalks. We as Indecline feel if they see our video or see our project, share it. Call to action means action. Inspiring others to want to make their mark, make their statement. Resist.